Okay, and we are back. Glad you're along tonight. We have another outstanding program for you with uh, just some superb people. Starting off tonight, we're going to get a chance to spend an hour with Gerald Salenti. Gerald is uh, all over the mainstream media, and it is truly amazing to me to see someone who speaks such profound truth and honesty and objectively about what's going on here, getting access to talk to so many people. In other times, Gerald might not be so fortunate. These people who run the media don't like the truth out there. And Gerald is a man who is so honed in on it, it's almost frightening. Uh, to say that Gerald is on the same page as I am and as most of you are would be to probably understate things. I mean, we are literally vibrating at the same resonance when it comes to looking at the world and this country and what's happened to it and where it's going. And now, Gerald, of course, has an advantage on all of us because he can see through his research where this whole situation will lay out in two, three, four, five weeks, two, three, four, five, six months, and so on. He is called the master of trends. At least that's what I call him. And it's it's great to have him back tonight. Gerald, welcome. Oh, thanks for having me, Jeff. You know, uh, it's interesting. If my notes are correct, it has been one year. You're starting your second year on this program tonight. Wow. <laughs> Seems like yesterday. It, no, no, no. <laughs> All too true. And uh, you've made such a contribution to so many people who care about what's going on here. I, I just want to thank you. For oh, thank that. you. Yes, indeed. Now, what we have here is the, the beige one in the White House, the, the beige sock puppet, uh, Barack Hussein Obama. In all likelihood, born in Kenya. But, you know, who cares anymore, right? It doesn't matter. What's the Constitution? But what's really bizarre, and Gerald knows this as well as anybody, is to look back on that, that agonizingly horrible two years of what they call a campaign and to have taken notice of the absolute adulation and adoration that became apparent in terms of people who support Barack Hussein Obama. That hasn't quit. There's a video, a little YouTube video. I'm going to play this very quickly, Gerald, and it shows another example of how people have been so taken in by this media-contrived persona of Obama. This is amazing. I want you to listen to what this guy says when he's called on at an Obama town meeting to ask a question. Did, by the way, did you see this? Um, possibly. No, it's, it's wild. Take a listen. Go ahead. Oh, it's such a blessing to see you, Mr. President. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Oh, gracious God, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, what, what's, what's the question? All right, Mr. President, <laughs> my name is Julio Asagueda. I'm currently a student at Edison. All right, well, you get the idea. I mean, it's, oh, precious God. Uh, you know, he's invoking some pretty heavyweight people here, and, and this is the kind of thing that, in a way, should be alarming to people. It's, this is not the only example. And, and Gerald saw the examples of... of White females, black females, f women were fainting at Obama. The examples of, of white females, black females, f women were fainting at Obama's campaign speeches. Never mind he was reading off a teleprompter. We have really the ability here that, that Obama now possesses and his machine to galvanize, mobilize, and otherwise, I think, recruit uh, his his domestic volunteer, well, I don't know what he calls it now, but it's a paramilitary force of, of you know, maybe a couple hundred thousand people. Uh, it's, a, it's you know, it's kind of like the brown shirts all over again. I don't know how you see it, Gerald, but it's it's a frightening thing to see the media used to such devastating impact on, on so many people. Well, you know, people are desperate, and they're fearful. And when you're desperate and fearful, you'll believe in anything. And, 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 you know, we, we've seen this before. We, you know, look, look at Bush after, after 9-11 and the, the adulation and, you know, what was something like, you know, 90% of the there. people were, yeah. were behind him. Right. You know, so people are desperate and fearful. And, um, it's the presidential reality show and it's episode two, Obama moves into the White House. And for people to think, that they, well, obviously your viewers don't, your, your listeners don't think 
uh, that anything is going to change. But the but the average person, of course, is just average, and mm-hmm. they don't know any better. So they're riding the media wave, and and but the the real thing to look at, Jeff, is what's going on in the financial markets. We saw with Timothy Geithner, the new uh, Treasury Secretary, how oh, yeah. unwelcomed his his uh, yeah. Yeah. nothing little talk was on yeah. how to uh, stimulate the economy. What, what did the market crash four percent and mm-hmm. dropped? Mm-hmm. And and we saw in January uh, one of the worst stock markets in history. So so the world and the, and the financial markets are not really swayed by the. Uh, the the song and dance team here. They are in terms of uh, of other issues though, and and this this bailout for the rich, which is it's all it is, it's welfare for the rich, uh, is becoming more obscene all the time. And I I have to think that the people, the average people, and God bless them, you know, God loved average people, or he wouldn't have made so many of them, uh, are still into the market, and they're still I I don't know what they're thinking because you should be out of the market. But there's a lot of folks still in it. It's not all institutional investors. And what are they thinking about this? They, they know, they have to know a lot of them, Gerald, that the bailout is a fraud. It can't work. It's a joke. They're just changing the IV drip bottle on the patient who's already dead in the hospital bed. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's, it's really an obscenity what's going on. And they talk about the stimulus plan. Come on, give me a break. You heard about the stimulus program and the health uh, there were health regulations written in there that nobody noticed. I read them last night. They call for, uh, well, let me see if I can find, I'll read it to you in just a minute. But what's going on with the average investor in the market? Are these people just so totally disconnected? Well, I, I can tell it? you from what's going on with us that uh, we're, we're hearing from people. They, they've lost uh, north of 50 to 60 percent of what they've had, and their retirements are evaporating. And, and many people are, I would say that the majority of people that contact us are either out of the market or on their way out, but they don't know what to do next. And again, they're hoping against hope. We saw what happened in, in January where we heard all of these pundits. I always get a kick out of this. The people that didn't see it coming are now saying what's going to happen next. And, and You're the right. consensus You're right. in That's January true. was, yeah. well, by the second quarter of 2009, we'll start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> and and I don't think anybody really believes that anymore. And we're hearing from mm. the president of General Electric, for example, recently, warning of a depression. We're looking what's going on around the world, and and there's what riots and they overthrew the government of Iceland. Right. Why it's in Latvia, Lithuania. Uh, what happened in Greece wasn't about shooting a 15-year-old kid. It was the same thing, the, the breakdown of the, the system. We're seeing protests in France. This is unraveling at warp speed. It's a global financial meltdown. And here's the scary part. They're looking to the United States to save the day. You know, uh I think that may be one of the, the single most important observations of all. That's That kind of madness is exactly the truth. People continue to look here for some kind of leadership and salvation to get us out. It's not going to happen. The light at the end of the tunnel, of course, is an oncoming train. This issue is not going to go away. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know. When you go on the big on the big talk shows and, and you're invited on the major media venues, how hip, how wise are the hosts, and what is your read of, of the kind of questions that, if it's a question talk show, what, what are the questions asking? What are they saying? Well, the, it depends on the show. I mean, I, just on, I think it was a Tuesday. Tuesday I was on Glenn Beck, 